Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today to watch my videos. I'm starting a new tutorial series on how to create a simple online game using Microsoft Signal R and React with TypeScript. First and foremost, let me give you a sneak peek of what the end result of this complete series will look like. This is the user interface showcasing the final outcome of this tutorial series. For demonstration purposes, I've opened multiple private browsers to represent different users. First, I'll log in as different users. Then, I'll explain the outcome of handling online users throughout the series. First, I'll log in as Madawa, and then I'll log in as Hessian. You can now see that there is an online user named Hessian. If Hessian logs out, you'll notice that he disappears from the online users list. Additionally, if Hessian is logged out, he won't be able to play online since he's no longer active. Now, I'll log in as Hessian again. You can observe that Hessian is back online. I'll quickly log in as multiple users. You can observe the real-time updating of the online users list. These user details are stored in the SQL Server. Let me show you what the user table looks like in SQL Server. Now you can see the users table. It includes columns for username, hashed password, JWT token, refresh token, and the refresh token expiration date, all stored inside the database. I'll demonstrate what happens if a non-registered user tries to log in you'll notice that the server message indicates, not found. Let me quickly register this user, Nadisha. User registration was successful. Now, let's take a look at the database. Previously, there was no user named, Nadisha. So I'll refresh the database. Oh, there you go. Now you can see, Nadisha, in the database, and the password has been hashed. Since, Nadisha, just registered and hasn't logged in yet, there are no tokens associated with the account. Let me log in now. Now you can see that the token, refresh token, and expiration time have been updated in the database. Even if someone hasn't registered or logged in, they can still use the single player mode to play. If user, Kassan, wants to play with, Nadisha, he can send a request to, Nadisha, to join a private room. Other users can either accept or reject that request.
I'll now demonstrate what the private room looks like. The player who requested the room gets the first turn to play. Other user cannot play until he starts. Also, the next player is indicated in the status. If one user has played, he cannot play again until his partner has made a move. If there is a winner or if the game ends in a draw, they can start a new game. Now, I'll demonstrate how to manage online users in cases of connection loss or user logout. If a user is in a private game room and their partner's connection is lost, the server will notify the private room and indicate the partner's status. Additionally, the online user list is updated. The user whose connection was lost is removed from the list, and the other user's online status returns to online, cancelling out their private room condition. This is the case where the user is logged out. This is similar to the connection lost case, but in this scenario, the user's status is logged out. The partner can indicate what the situation was. Lastly, I'll demonstrate how the refresh token works in the background. The JWT token and refresh token are stored in the browser's local storage. I'll wait for the fetching request to refresh the token. You can observe that one request has been made, and the refresh request was successful. In the background, the token will be refreshed every 100 seconds. Let me show you how it's implemented in the code.
After a few minutes, multiple refresh fetches look like this. Let me outline the main topics and subtopics I'll be covering in this tutorial series. In the first part, I'll cover web API application and user authentication. Here's what I'll demonstrate, creating a web API server application. Table migration to SQL server. User management and password hashing. Creating the front-end UI with React using TypeScript involves several steps. Here's what I'll cover. Setting up React project with TypeScript. Designing the user interface. Implementing global context and reduces with TypeScript. JWT token creation and validation. Refresh token. Generating refresh token. Real-time token refreshing with backend. Refresh token validation. Creating a new JWT token with every refresh. Creating a signal R connection with the server. Finally, I will explain step by step how to create signal R connection with a server and online user management system with signal R. These are all the topics covered in this series of video tutorials. I'll guide you step by step on how to create the online tic tac toe game. I will upload all the necessary documents and commands to a GitHub repository for your reference. If you're watching this series, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching this introduction video. Join me throughout this series, and you'll learn a lot.